this video, I'm going to be taking you through step by step exactly how to build an AI agent using OpenAI's brand new GPT-5 model. And by the end of this video, you have a completely free blueprint that you can just go ahead and download and implement so you can build it alongside me or implement it into any of your workflows completely for free. So make sure to subscribe and download to get the blueprint of everything that we build in this video. If you don't already know me, my name is Ashton. I've been helping businesses and business owners implement AI systems and voice AI systems to save time, cut costs, and drive growth. Without further ado, let's hop into straight into NAN, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm in NAN, and this is gonna be the automation platform that we're gonna be using to create this AI agent and then connect OpenAI to it as well. So let's get started, uh, and let's do this. All right, first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and click Create Workflow, and I'm gonna need a trigger for this automation. So again, I'm just gonna be using NADN's chat, uh, inbuilt chat feature to trigger this automation. Again, it could be a webhook, it could be a WhatsApp trigger, it could be a Telegram trigger, it could be literally anything to create uh, this AI agent. And then from there, we're gonna be connecting an AI agent uh, on top of this chat figure. And then I'll just use the connected chat trigger node. And then the prompt is just gonna be the uh, user input. So the chat or the, the message that I'm gonna send inside NNN. And then we're gonna to need to add a system message. So this right here is going to be the prompt of our AI agent. So again, I'm just gonna be pasting in uh, the prompt right here. Let's get it up quickly. So again, this is gonna be the prompt of our AI agent. So I'll just quickly run you through this prompt. This is going to allow us to respond to uh, the chat or the the message that is coming inside to the system. So again, we're, we're going to be prompting it to a uh, Airbnb business. So again, I've got the role here. I've got the goal. I've got the task. And then I have some further example conversations down here as well. So I'll just quickly run you through this prompt, how it's structured and um, how it's useful inside this AI agent. So first of all, we have the role. We've said, you are Emily, a friendly, efficient and virtual help assistant. Your goal and personality is a warm, welcoming, and professional tone. You communicate exclusively via SMS, so your responses should be concise and conversational. So again, giving the AI a prompt, giving it some context, and then giving it its tone and personality as well. And then from there, I've got the goal. So the main goal of the AI agent is to provide excellent customer service to Airbnb guests by answering their questions and addressing their needs promptly. And then from there, I've got the task. So giving the AI agent how to conduct its task in a simple three-step process. So again, if you do want this prompt, everything I built in this video, feel free to subscribe and download this completely free AI agent template that I'm using inside this video. So again, the task number one is acknowledge and understand. So when a guest sends a message, read it carefully to understand their issue or question. Number two is accessing the information. So I'm gonna be using a Google Sheets tool in this example, change out the sheets um, that has a knowledge base to find the correct answer. So it's gonna be constantly referring to an external tool. In this case, it's gonna be Google Sheets to find an answer to uh, that user's question. So that's exactly how we prompted this AI agent to access this tool inside NA. And I'll show you exactly how to connect that. And then number three is formulate a response. So for standard questions, for example, Wi-Fi, check out time, provide the information directly and clearly from the uh, Google Docs tool. And then for issues or problems, um, you know, you can go ahead and further escalate it, maybe potentially onto the Airbnb owner. But I'll just um, delete this uh, section right here because I used it in another video. But yeah, I'm just going to show you how to build this agent um, using this prompt, again, using OpenAI GBT5. So then from there, we have the context. So this agent is designed to automate responses to common guest inquiries. Um, and then from there, I've got different example conversations. So this is really useful when prompting AI agents to let them know how conversations should go, how to call different tools, um, and then also how to respond to customers' questions. So I'll just quickly um, modify this and delete some of this because I used this prompt in a previous video. It's got an extra tool in there, but uh, yeah, that'll be all good. And then from there, I've got some notes that so always maintain a friendly and positive tone and then keep responses short and to the point as well. So that'll sort out the system message for the AI agent. And then we're gonna need to add a chat model. In this case, it's gonna be OpenAI. So I'll show you how to do that. And it's really simple, it's really easy actually. All we need to do is search OpenAI click here and we're going to need to create a new credential. So how to do that, we're going to need an API key from OpenAI. So all we need to go, do is go over to here and search um, OpenAI, OpenAI API key. And then it's going to be this first, um, this first link right here, which is going to be able to prompt you to go into OpenAI's platform and use their services in different chat models as well. So we're going to go ahead and click create new credential. And then I'll just name it NADN um, GBT5. Right here, create secret key. And then from there, it's gonna give us an API key, which we can then copy 
and then paste right into here. And then this should now go green, boom, perfect. So we can now use OpenAI's um, model. And then if I just go ahead and type um, five right here, it'll give us, sorry, five right here, it'll give us all the models uh, with five in it. So we just go down here, we can now select GBT5. So um, again, GBT5, extremely powerful. You can go ahead and read about it, but essentially it's a PhD level um, uh, model as well. So now that we have the OpenAI model, we can go ahead and test it right here. So we can say hello, um, and it should use that OpenAI connection that we just established and then the prompt as well in the AI agent to give an answer. So right there, boom, we've said, this is Emily with your Airbnb, how can I help you today? So again, it's using that system prompt right there. And then from there, well, I'm just gonna attach a simple memory inside NADN. So again, this is just using um, you know, a context window length, which means it remembers up to five responses in the conversation. And then the session key is just from the, the chat ID or the chat node that we've used um, in this process. But again, just using simple memory in this demo. And then in the tool, I'm gonna to be using a Google Sheets tool to retrieve knowledge and retrieve information. So I'll just pop over to Google Sheets right now, and I'll just briefly show you how this is structured. So again, we've got you know the category of the, the, the issue or the inquiry that the person may be um, uh, having questions about. So again, Wi-Fi access, um, I've got passwords here, property overview, you've got sleeping arrangements, house rules, all these different things that the AI agent can access and retrieve from a knowledge base to then respond to the customer's question or query um, promptly. So then from there, we're just gonna go ahead and select Google Sheets API. Again, I'm already signed in, but I'll go ahead and create a new credential and then I'll show you exactly how to sign in. All you need to do is just sign in with Google. And then from there, we're gonna be using um, the get rows or get rows, so retrieve more rows. And then all we need to do is select the document and the sheet as well. So if we just go up here, um, make sure you're using that account. And from here, Airbnb knowledge base, sheet, and it's gonna be sheet one. So now it has access to all these rows and then I'm just gonna leave everything blank from here. So I can just search the entire sheet um, for the answer. But yeah, that's exactly how you can use um, yeah, OpenAI's brand new GBT model. So let's go ahead and test it. And let's say, hello, I was looking for the Wi-Fi password. You can see it's gonna be using um, OpenAI's model right there, accessing the Google Sheets, hopefully. Boom, right there. It's taking a while because GBT5 is a new model and it is a much larger model than a lot of the other open air models. But yeah, right there you can see it providing a response. So we can see that the network, it's got the password. So we can see that it's searched that Google Sheet. It's found uh, all the different things right here inside the Google Sheet. And then it's also used that open air model with that system prompt as well. So yeah, that's just quickly how you can create a brand new AI agent using OpenAI's brand new GBT5 model. Of course, um, if you do want this AI agent, this AI template, feel free to subscribe and download the AI agent and template uh, in, the, in the link in the description below. You can get the prompt, you can get this entire workflow so you can just go ahead and download and implement it. And of course, if you are a business owner and you are looking to build a system like this or you've got any questions about AI, feel free to book a completely free discovery call in the link in the description below. But yeah, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video.